the, the vision of reaching out in its background started some seven years ago when the church was reviewing its activities against a background of dwindling numbers and it faced a, a question, will the church grow? Will it dwindle or will it go into palliative mode? And uh, led by prayer, the conclusion was clear that we're going to grow, but we recognised we needed to move out into the community and increase our activities to encourage the community to come and see us. And that was the background to reaching out uh, a wide range of diverse activities in a weekday church as well as a Sunday church. It's really exciting, uh, it, it, it's, it's thrilling. You don't know what's going to happen one day to the next, which is a bit scary as well. But the fact that we now draw in about 280 people a week through all our activities, uh, although probably only about 22, 25 of those on a Sunday, it is exciting because we're offering a lot more. The underpinning love that's there is reaching out to everyone through the week as well as a Sunday. Um, some of the key projects, toddlers together on Monday, um, on a Wednesday here, um, counselling from nine o'clock um, in our Here to Listen project in this room. People will drop in if they're having problems, particularly related to poverty, difficulties, and I'm always around. At the same time, we've got people coming into the hall to have hand massage, do knitting, have a coffee, have a chat, and we're getting ready to deliver super lunch. Um, straight after super lunch, we have singing, which is attended by various people. And straight after that, we have table tennis. The whole focus of our work is on supporting everyone, but particularly we're looking to help people who are suffering disadvantage, maybe are isolated for lots of reasons. Thursdays we have Art for All, um, which is another incredible project which I support um, in lots of different ways. Um, Super Lunch is a project where we aim to provide a very reasonably priced um, simple lunch for the community and it's produced by volunteers. The highlight for me is seeing people enjoying lunch in a companionable setting. Perhaps people who are a little more isolated than they would like to be um, coming together, renewing old friendships and making new ones. I was a semi-professional singer and uh, I, I lost my voice. The psychologist that comes here and uh, talks to people um, does it uh, on a weekly basis and, and she only takes a donation for the church and so I thought that was a good idea and I think that was maybe maybe three years ago maybe more and uh, she sorted out all my problems and uh, we become good friends so every week I just come in to see her now. Also before the uh, I see her each Wednesday they have the singing in the church uh, with the organist and so that's helped my voice come back and given me, uh, given me the confidence to, to sing again. Uh, we've got a number of activities that we would like to grow further, uh, particularly in the anti-poverty line. We've got three projects which uh, we're hoping we can start uh, by the funding we receive from the Community Project Award itself. They're exciting because we're in a, a very, very low pay, low income area and that's something that needs a lot more attention than, unfortunately, than the official agencies have funding to provide.